Welcome back to the channel everyone. In today's video, I'll guide you on resolving the issue of the spinning wheel on your Mac. If you've ever found yourself engrossed in a crucial project with a looming deadline, you're likely familiar with the frustration caused by the spinning rainbow wheel, or the beach ball as some refer to it. This unwelcome interruption can disrupt your workflow on your Mac, so let's delve into the details. What exactly is the spinning wheel? It's an indicator that an application lacks sufficient processing power to execute its tasks seamlessly. Unfortunately, the causes of the spinning wheel are not consistently tied to a single factor. It could be attributed to either software or hardware issues, such as insufficient RAM, or a lack of free space on your hard drive. Sometimes, it may even result from a combination of these factors. Now, for some positive news, I'll share four straightforward steps to help you minimize the occurrence of the spinning wheel. Firstly, we'll focus on identifying and quitting any misbehaving applications. To accomplish this, we'll access the Force Quit Applications window. There are two methods to bring up this window. You can press the Command, Option, and the escape keys on your keyboard all at the same time. The other way to open that window is by clicking on the Apple logo in the top left corner and then click Force Quit. When that window opens, you'll typically see the words not responding next to an app that is freezing or locking up. Just select that app and click Force Quit, then reopen the app after it closes. If the same app keeps freezing or stalling every time you open it, then you might need to reinstall it. The next thing you can do is clean up your Mac and remove any unnecessary login items. Sometimes an app will install as a login item, meaning that every time you turn your Mac back on, that app launches too. So you might have a bunch of apps running in the background that you don't actually want or need open right now. I'm gonna show you how you can use the app Clean My Mac X to manage what those items are. This is not a sponsor, guys. You can use any software you want. In the sidebar, click Optimization, and then click the button that says View All Items. Go through both categories, Login Items, and Launch Agents. Then select which ones you'd like to disable, and click Remove. Clean My Mac X will then turn off those apps from launching every time you start your Mac, hopefully making your computer run that much faster and not get bogged down by unnecessary apps. Another way you can prevent the spinning wheel is by freeing up or adding more RAM. The first part of that is a little easier than the second part of it. You can free up RAM by quitting out of unused apps, or if you downloaded Clean My Mac X, that can also help here. Open Clean My Mac, then click Maintenance on the left. You can select the Free Up RAM script and run that. If you're still getting the spinning wheel after freeing up RAM, then you might want to consider adding more RAM to your Mac. Depending on what model of computer you have, it might not be possible to upgrade the RAM, so you should definitely take it to a licensed Mac repair center to see. Lastly, if none of these things have fixed your computer running slow, freezing, or how often the spinning wheel appears, then you might want to run some hardware tests on your Mac. You can take your computer into an Apple store or any other Apple certified repair shop to help you with that. That's all for today's video. The spinning wheel never pops up at a time when you can have the patience to deal with it. It seems to only happen when you're in a rush, so it's good to have an idea idea of what you can do to fix it beforehand. Remember to subscribe to our channel so you always know when we release another great video filled with tips and tricks. I'll catch you all next time.